Good morning. I'm live from my shop um, today. So I'm recording from my shop. Now the cards that were picked out today um, on my Facebook page, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. First card was... <coughs> sorry. First card was The Awakening. Now this card is all about sacrifice release. It's about seeing things in a different way. Seeing things from a different angle and seeing things for the long term good, so not the short term. So maybe having to look at what you want in your life in four years, five years, as opposed to next week. It indicates having to hang around for a little while. You might be at a bit of a crossroads and you might have to just hang around a little while until you can see the bigger picture. There's sacrifice, there's release from this card. Letting go of what no longer serves you in order to expand, in order to move on to something bigger and better for yourself or for others. Now, it may not even be for yourself. It could be, uh, you know, this is a biblical card. It's uh, Jesus on the cross where he... Um, released himself for the good of all so this card could be indicated not that you have to go and kill yourself for the good of all obviously not but it might be that you need to re release or sacrifice something of yours for the good of others there so it's about contemplation at the moment not rushing to do anything too quick and dramatic but thinking about how things will uh, could turn out if you made some changes now the next uh, card is the nine of summer now this is a fantastic card blend here it's about wishes coming true harmony mo home, harmonious um, energy and being very positive with those changes now you might choose not to get off that uh, emotional swinging pendulum you might choose just to stay where you are not to sacrifice anything and that's fine but this card indicates if you were to sacrifice things if you were to let go of something that no longer serves you and look at the bigger picture you've got happiness contentment emotional joy because it's a nine, it's not quite a 10, so it's indicating it's not quite um, 10 out of 10. There's something still adrift there, but very, very good. Wishes coming true and positive energy there. But I always say with this card, be careful what you wish for. However, the next card that we got up was the star. Now, the star would be, again, another positive card, so it doesn't look like there's any negativity at all from these. The sacrifice and the release, the seeing the bigger picture would give you your dreams coming true and making things feel a lot happier for you, contented for you. Not straight away, but, uh, but you will get that inner peace there. The star indicates keeping your chin up, keeping positive with your choices and decisions, looking at the cup half full, not half empty, and knowing that if you make positive changes, um, that things can get better for you. So January connection with that star with Aquarius as well. So you could find that it pans out a little bit more in the new year. We've got you all coming up over the weekend, 21st. We've got the solstice, the 21st. We've got Christmas coming up. So there's, and we've got the new year following week. So there's a lot of new energy coming in anyway around you. And sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative around uh, this time of year. But use the solstice, use the Yule um, to be positive. You know, it's all about energy. If you give out negative energy, then you're going to get it back. And if you give out positive energy, you're going to get, get it back. It, the, your vibe really does attract your, your tribe. So try and be more positive. If you're somebody who's a bit low, <coughs> excuse me, and if you're somebody who thinks, oh, that's not going to work, that's not going to work, I might sacrifice things, but it's not going to work, it won't work. It's as simple as that, it won't work. But if you're someone that thinks, do you know what, I'm fed up with how things are, I'm going to change some things, and I know it's going to work for me, I know it's going to bring on happiness, I know it's going to be positive, I'm the one that can make the changes here, then believe in it and it will become much more positive now it might not take um it might take a little bit of time to change your mindset these things if you are a negative thinker usually these things aren't an overnight transition but believe me it works i used to be one of those moaners i used to when i had a proper job i used to be somebody who um did moan a lot and was although i was happy there was a lot of things i was pissed off about and then one day literally one day i just thought mm, i wonder if i started being nice to everyone what would happen because i was a bit of a job's worth then and i did i just started to be nice to people and it was a bit of a challenge to begin with to keep it up and when people wanted help with something at work instead of saying oh i'll do it in a minute i just did it when someone wanted a refund i just did it um when somebody wanted to get somebody else instead of making them wait i just did it i don't know why i made them wait but like i say power went to my head so um in turn then things started to look up for me and when i was in a queue instead of being moany about it i'd be thinking well i can make this phone call or i can look at the out the wall i can look at this i can see the beauty of things so just small changes ended up being um 
second nature to me. So these cards definitely indicate here that by being positive and thinking optimistic, you can uh, bring a better life on for yourself. And like I said, I have done it, so it is doable. So please give it a go for a month. Give it a go for a month, being positive and then do it for another month. It will become second nature. So hopefully you can make sense of these. Sacrifice, release, bring in happier times, wishes coming true, being positive, new beginnings there. Have a good day, everyone. See you later. Thanks for watching Kate May, Modern Day Mystic. Bye.